Welcome to my channel. Hello, my name is Amy, if you're brand new here. So today we are bringing you, and by we, I mean Cat L, Isabel Styles, and Clara Zila. The four of us are bringing you a tag video. I know, four videos in a day. How sweet is that? Today's tag is called bags that we cannot live without. We're gonna pick each other's collection, two bags that we think they cannot live without and then the reasons why we think that they can't live without. At the end of the video, make sure that you go ahead and watch each of these other three ladies videos and see if they guessed right about my choices and whether I guessed right about their choices. I'm gonna start with Clara's collection. I think out of the four of us, she's the one who's really into all aspects of luxury. She's into fine jewelry, she's into ready to wear, she has an amazing collection of handbags. I personally feel that if I didn't have to choose bags, that her things that she cannot live without would be her fine jewelry. I feel like those are the things that she makes use of the most because she can wear them even at home while she's working from home. But this tag is about bags. So when I looked at her collection, I felt like one of the most obvious choice would be her Birkin 25. I don't want to choose that one because I have a feeling that her style is not necessarily uh, all about the Birkin so much. The fact that she lives in Hong Kong and that she takes public transportation a lot and that I know <laughs> that the size 25 for her, she loses an arm and she talked about it a few times. So I feel like even though that could have been an obvious choice, I'm not gonna choose that. I feel like it's probably still not the one that she cannot live without, although it's a really, really close one. So I'm not gonna choose that one, Clara. However, I will choose her other Hermes bag, which I see her wear a lot, her black, Lindy, size 26. The way she dresses and the way she style her things are definitely sort of more muted, uh, meaning that like it's not logo plastered and you cannot necessarily recognize that it's a luxury brand. The Lindy from Hermes being a bag that has no logo, it doesn't scream anything in particular aside from the design. If you know it, you know it. I feel like that would be her one bag that she cannot live without. A very close second that I thought about that is very similar to the Lindy her puzzle bag in pink color in the size small, I believe. I know that she loves pink, especially like the Sakura pink color. So I thought maybe that could be one of them, but I didn't choose it because then I think about the fact that she is a Chanel lover. She's loved Chanel for a long time. In fact, I met her the first time at the Vancouver boutique when uh, she was here to visit her family uh, back in 2019. So I tried to go through her Chanel collection and I thought that the second bag that she cannot live without, in my opinion, would be the reissue mini. That is actually the bag that she bought when I met her. Again, it's one of those muted handbags, but it is a Chanel and I know she's a Chanel lover and the fact that it's super versatile and still fits a lot because the Reissue Mini is actually quite roomy for a mini bag. You could wear it short for a date night and you can wear it crossbody for, I don't know, going to uh, sightseeing or whatever. So it's a very, very versatile bag that is really muted and really elegant at the same time. Isabel is such a gorgeous girl. I would definitely describe her as being super elegant, but also very chic, like very kind of modern, uh, modern girl that um, is is not about statement but more about just dressing the right things. I'm sure you guys all follow her. She is waiting for her special order from Hermes and I know that she's been really curating and really analyzing what really works for her and really just get rid of things that don't serve her. Uh, even though you might love something, doesn't mean that you need to keep it. And that's one of the problems that I have. Like I'm kind of a hoarder. I feel like because she lives in Sydney, beautiful weather, it's pretty much warm all year long, even though they have a winter, but like their winter is like our spring. So I feel like they pretty much have like all year long, beautiful weather, sunny beaches and just beautiful outdoors. So for me, I feel like you need vibrant colors in the city. Like if I lived there, I would be in dresses all day long, all year long and in sandals. And I would have lots of pops of colors because I feel like it definitely is the vibe of the city. So for her, I know that even though her Birkin and her Kelly are both obvious choices, I actually would choose the Magnolia Kelly 25 for her. Like every time I look at some of the pictures that she has online, 
even though she's dressing neutral and whatnot, or whether she is matching her skirt with her bag, it always looks good because I feel like a pop of color just really works for the type of environment and the city that she lives. So the second bag I would actually choose from her is a classic from Chanel. I feel like every girl needs a classic. Her beige medium large classic flap. That's just another bag that's super versatile for where she lives and her aesthetic in general. On days that she doesn't feel like that pop of color because Magnolia is still a, a quite a pop of color so on days that she doesn't feel like it she can just rely on the beautiful classic medium large in beige. It will match with anything that she wears. So that would be the second one that I would choose for her. I feel like yeah, I feel like it, it It cannot be the Birkin, even though the Birkin is probably a very close uh, second. Um, I feel like if I was her, I would pick her medium-large classic flop. And last but not least, for Kat L, Catherine, my good friend and also co-host of the Luxury Live Show. You could say that I know her the best, but I still don't really know which one she could not live without. I'm just guessing at this point. Worst comes to shove, I feel like she... She will give up everything for the right cause. I feel like she's one of those people. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but um, having said that, this is a tag video. The little clutch that her brother gave her, as well as another clutch that is made of kimono that her best friend gave her. Those are super sentimental items for her. I feel like if anything, those would be the ones that she could not live without because she just strikes me as someone who can give up everything else but has to keep those two. So I would personally have picked those two for her, except that I feel like this tag should be for luxury handbags, I think. Going through her actual luxury handbag collection, she also went through quite a, a bit of curating and she's doing great. And she also recently scored her Birkin 25 in black Togo. So cute. That would be, you know, my dream bag as well. So even though I didn't pick the Birkin for any of the previous ladies, I'm actually going to pick that one for her. I feel like before she experienced Hermes bags, but they were never really the bag. So I feel like for her in particular, the Birkin 25, in the black togo is actually one of the bags that she cannot live without and it is an obvious choice but it's because of a different reason she really did work super focused at getting it the second one i would pick for her a bag that she doesn't wear very often but i feel like she cannot live without because it also took a lot of effort of acquiring it it probably is also one of those that made her heart sing the most every time she wore it that's my guess. So my guess is her Louis Vuitton Valisette bag. And hers is the limited edition in uh, green and orange and black and white. So it's really, really cute and it's really unique. Like I really don't see, I actually don't see anybody wear that bag ever. It's also a brand that really kind of, I feel like represents her a little bit you know the quirkiness that she is and the personality that she is i feel like it really suits her my turn to reveal what i cannot live without and i feel like my choices are probably boring and super obvious because i just revealed to you guys my entire chanel collection and my favorites what i would choose again top three you guys have seen it all but in case you're brand new to my channel and you don't know then uh, maybe this is interesting to you it would be from my chanel collection and i think it's pretty obvious that one of my picks would be the mini square i absolutely love this mini square because this was from the cruise 2017 collection and i felt like that collection in particular the square was a little bit more roomy uh, the caviar on it is super shiny and hard wearing and I absolutely just love how this wears on me because of a shorter chain the square style and everything just works really well with my aesthetic yes I love my black and white but I'm not necessarily a neutral person either like I'm sure you guys if you've noticed you know my uh, styling hauls and just in general i'm not a neutral person per se like i love my reds i have pops of colors here and there even in choosing my accessories and even in choosing like the style of my clothing i just love a good statement like a good you can definitely see that it's different type of thing um so in saying that my handbags i have to go with black because 
it just works with anything that I wear. It doesn't matter if I'm wearing a really um, bright, like all white outfit, or if I'm wearing a really feminine dress, or if I'm wearing a really sort of sleek all black outfit. It doesn't really matter because black will always go with everything. And so, yeah, this is an obvious choice for me. I don't know how many of you saw it coming. And um, yeah, this bag, I travel with it. I go to weddings with it. I could wear it to the supermarket with it. Um, it's great for downsizing, which is amazing now. It's not too small because I do love my phone bags too, but those are really, really small. So if I could really just pick one that is really well-rounded for my collection that is on the smaller side, it would have to be this one. Yes, my Chanel 19. It was actually a close second with the trendy CC. And the reason why I went with this one is just because of how easy it is. Trendy CC, you still have to avoid rainy days you um you know still have to be a little bit careful as to what you wear like not too much hardware on your jackets or your jeans or whatever whereas with this one it's it's pretty carefree aside from the obvious deep scratch aside from that there really is not much that you need to like do to like take care of your bag and to maintain it well because I've gotten downpoured in this one. Don't recommend it, by the way, but I have gotten downpoured in this one. The Chanel 19 is also known for uh, just the durability of its lambskin. It is totally different from the Trendy CC's lambskin. I do have a video comparing the Trendy CC and the Chanel 19 in case you're still wondering which one to pick from, so I'll link it down below. But yeah, I just feel like this is pretty much the most modern classic Chanel bag that you can get and that you can rely on uh, wearing on a daily basis. I don't wear any of my bags on a daily basis. I have enough to rotate. So wear and tear is minimal on all my bags. But it's just one of those designs where I feel like it's a little grungy, a little edgy. So it's really, really versatile in terms of like dressing it up, dressing it down. And I really don't mind the thicker chain. It's just a different look. You know, I have a classic mini which you know, is great for many, many occasions. But this one just fits a bit more. It's super roomy. You can use a organizer or you can not use one. It really is up to you. It just is so, so versatile and easy. And until you own one and try it and wear it for a while, you don't know that. You might judge it from its appearance. But I'm just saying to you guys, if you're on the fence, really, I think that you would love it. Honestly, you would love it. I feel like you would love it. And whether you choose it in a black, in a cream, in a pink, in a blue, in a red, in a green, or even in fabric, I feel like you really cannot go wrong. You just, yeah. It's just one of my favorite. That's all I can say. So did you guess mine right? I have a feeling that a lot of you did. And if you did, say that you did. <laughs> Go back to your comments and say that you did. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tag video. I hope that you had a lot of fun hearing why I chose those two bags for each of the ladies. And of course, don't forget to go and watch their videos. I hope that at least I'm close, that I got at least one out of two. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome. And I hope that you stick around and decide to subscribe because I would love to have you back. And to the rest of you, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.